So since they go through external fertilization, they have to lay out a lot of eggs because eggs and sperm, they have to meet at like one place. But mm, if you were to actually fertilize outside, then mm, the chance of actually meeting egg and sperm is going to be uh, less than the internal fertilization. So what they do is they lay out many eggs at one time mm, so that actually they can increase the probability of fertilizing. Okay. As opposed to that, reptiles and birds and mammals go through internal fertilization. So they lay out eggs or they lay out um, sperm on eggs um, in a few number. Okay. So just one or two. All right. Then mm, their parental care is also very like high. Okay. Because their offspring is going to be just one or two. Okay, as opposed to fish and amphibian uh, go through like mass production, okay, mass fertilization. So they don't really uh, care about the, the offspring, like each of the offspring that much because they have many offspring coming out at once, okay? So uh, on page 250, this is also talking about uh, different types of uh, reproduction. First one is asexual reproduction. The second one is sexual reproduction, okay? So table 16.1 is all about the sexual reproduction, but also some animals or some organisms actually can go through asexual reproduction, okay? So um, the advantage of asexual reproduction is these four. So one, it enables animals living in isolation to reproduce without a mate, okay? So even if they don't really have a mate, okay, still they can reproduce so that they can um, increase their, um, their, uh, their organisms, okay. Number two, it creates numerous offspring quickly. Number three, there is no expen expenditure of energy maintaining elaborate reproductive systems or hormonal cycles, okay. So uh, in order to like reproduce, they don't really need that much steps, right? They just have to divide or they just have to go through asexual reproduction so that like they don't really need to go through fertilization or like hormonal changes. They don't really need that, okay? Number four, because offsprings are clones of the parent, asexual reproduction is advantageous when the environment is stable and favorable, okay? We briefly talked about this when we we're talking about the evolution, right? So. Asexual reproduction, such as bacteria, right? So those kinds are mm, advantages when we go through, uh, when the environment is stable, okay? But when we have some kind of environmental change, environmental change, okay? All right, mm. then what happens is if the genetic information of these individuals are all the same, then if some kind of extreme environmental change occurs, then all of these will actually die, okay? But if the genetic information is slightly different between these uh, individuals in one species, then even though environmental change will occur, some of the, or, uh, some of the individual will actually survive through the environment, okay? So that was called a natural selection. Right, and it's the survival of the fittest, right? So for asexual reproduction, this is disadvantageous, okay? But uh, only when environmental change doesn't occur. So environment is very stable, then asexual reproduction is very advantageous because reproduction itself is very easy, okay? So types of asexual reproduction, there could be fission, budding, fragmentation, and parthenogenesis, okay? Fission is just dividing up into two. Okay, so the separation of an organism into two new cells, right? So for amoeba or bacteria, they go through fission, okay, dividing up into two. Budding is like budding out of the, the, uh, the body, okay? So when you have like a hydra, like this, an hydrarian, then mm, they have like these structure coming out of the body, okay? And this itself becomes a separate individual. Okay, after budding, okay? And same thing occurs for the yeast, okay? So you have an yeast like that, and then mm, when they reproduce, some kind of structure buds out, and then this becomes two different organisms, like this daughter cell, mother cell, okay? Uh, fragmentation is they fragment into like different parts of the body, and then each body actually grows out to be like the new individuals, okay? Okay, the last uh, asexual reproduction is the parthenogenesis, Okay, so this involves development of an egg without fertilization. So the egg itself actually grows out to be the adult. Okay, so example of that is the honeybees or some lizards. 
So as opposed to that, we humans actually go through sexual repression.